First of all, I'm very happy to be with you uh, this evening, and especially I'm um, pleased to be given the honor of being one of the recipients of the Goldman Environmental Prize. Our gathering here this evening is indeed a very significant and historic tribute to the efforts of the Goldman Environmental Foundation to bridge the gap between philosophy for justice and practical action, between the rich north and the poor south, and between the greed of a few and the basic need of the many. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, colleagues, Sahabat Alam Malaysia and the World Rainforest Movement, which I represent, have been given this honor tonight in recognition of our work to try to save the environment, and in particular, our struggle to save the rainforest. In reality, the honor belongs not just to one individual or group, but to all native people and all of you here who are here tonight, who have been waging a relentless fight to save what is left of our precious forest. Ladies and gentlemen, the problem that we have faced in Sarawak, in Malaysia, has not been an easy one. The struggle has been of many sacrifices. Many people, especially the native people, have been jailed and have been detained, not because they tried to steal other people's property, not because they tried to destroy other people's land, but because of their determined to keep their source of drinking water clean, because they wanted to keep their source of food as it is uh, in the beginning, where they can find things very much in abundance. Now, all of us Sarawak, we have a lot of destruction that has gone on. We have written a lot of petitions, a lot of letters, and hold a lot of meetings, both between the government officials and many other ministers. But until today, the destruction has gone on. As a result, the livelihood of our people have been very much threatened. It is for this purpose that uh, I appeal to each and every one of you, to us, you, actually today. What have we all done yesterday? What are we doing today? And what are we going to do tomorrow about all these problems? In fact, what are happening in Sarawak, in Malaysia, is just an example of what are also happening in many parts of the world. In Brazil, many people, many native people are shot. In Philippines, many people have died. And many other parts of the world, even in Hawaii, in the United States here, the forests there have also been destroyed. So this, these are the realities that we are facing today. And I want to urge you to do something about it before it is too late. And with that, we are very much uh, thankful to the Goldman Environmental Foundation for giving us this recognition of what we have done. And uh, in return for this, I now present on behalf of the people of Sarawak, Malaysia, a small present to the Goldman Environmental Foundation. Thank you.